name is, uh, should I go ahead? Yes. Okay. My name is Ara. I'm from Kuti. I'm from Stare Constituents, a youth representative in the constituents. Abba was chosen by the youth of this constituents, uh, which uh, was a great honor to me. At the same time, talk of my constituents, which is Starehe, we've got eight wards. Eight wards, uh, I mean that we've got um, Kiamaiko ward, we've got Uruma ward, Mabatini ward, Madare ward, we've got Ngara east, Ngara west ward, CBD, and Karyoko Pangani. And the reason why they are, they are called wards is to, to, to enable that uh, distribution of uh, government resources whereby they are being funded through, through the CDF in our constituents. Can you tell us what CDF is? Okay, the CDF, uh, it's all about the constituents development fund money or kitty from the government, which the area MP normally works with that fund to be able to do a little bit of development in the, in the constituents, like building schools, roads, and uh, any other infrastructure in the constituents. Building, I, building latrines. <laughs> okay, building okay latrines. Do they to, do they build latrines? No. They do. They okay. do. I'm going to show you some of okay. the latrines which they normally build. You'll be able to see with your own eyes because it's the it's the proposal which somebody has to do. The community has to do. Let somebody, the community itself, has to sit down and maybe come up with that appropriate thing. Because three quarters of our constituents, we found that we've got um, a huge huge slum which is called Madhari slum. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we've got uh, Kiamaiko slums, Roma slums, whereby you, you get people who live in below the poverty line, can just say below the poverty line because they are, they are unable to sustain themselves. Okay. At the same time, if you come to the constituency itself, the area MP who is the Honorable Bishop Margaret Wanjiru, She's a very hard-working lady, whereby the youth of uh, these constituents decided that uh, they wanted the change of leadership, whereby they, they decided to have um, a woman as a leader. Because at the end of the day, we've been having men who've been misusing the, the funds which are brought in with the government, the CDF funds. But uh, we are so happy that uh, our honorable MP, who is a woman, she's doing a very great job, whereby we can see his hand in coming up with good projects like uh, building school walls. Like this one that like we see one. here. And you are going to tell me about Oops. These. These are for the security of the, the school compound. Oh, okay. And this is a machine that, that makes the bricks? Or? Yeah, it's called an hydrophone machine. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's called an hydrophone machine. Mm -hmm. So the reason why for building this wall was uh, it was because of uh, we, they were trying to to churn away criminals eh, who normally vandalize school, school school properties at the same time to to shut away these uh, drug traffickers who normally interfere with the children at school. In fact, uh, the primary schools pupils are the most hit because they are normally used as the tra traffickers at, the, at times. So building this wall, it will secure some of those loopholes whereby the children may, may, may uh, escape or sneak out of the school. So it's a good protector too mm -hmm. when we're building the walls. Mm -hmm. yeah. At the same time, we are talking about development. We can see that, uh, I'll take you around, maybe see mm -hmm. the roads which the RMP is doing. It's a very nice, a very nice road. We are in Uruma Ward, which she has, she has done. At the same time, uh, we are so glad that, uh, okay, her being a woman, there is something extraordinary about her because she works like a man, more like more than a man because she's got that motherly instinct whereby she knows exactly what his or her people wants in the constituents because most of the time she has given out bursary forms. Bursary forms, they are those... Um, scholarship which are given to pupils or students in secondary school 
to continue their learning, whereby you've got those people who are the most unfortunate in the society, they are given the bursary forms. At the same time, you've got those, those guys who've got, uh, who are orphans, whereby they are being assist, assisted with the bursary forms, of which I can say last year alone, she managed to give uh, bursary forms worth seven million to make sure that uh, these young young men should go back to school and get into get more education. And uh, education is good. When I say education is good, it's because uh, it will make the youth understand exactly, be able to express themselves, be able to get the right tools of leadership which they need in order to make this country to be a better place to live in. At the same time, we managed to see another um, three thousand, nearly three million Kenya money shall have given to scholarship to those guys who are going to the colleges, universities. We managed to realize that, which it hasn't been done before, because our area MP, being a woman, she's very much she's not tribal. She's very much fair, very much willing to work with the community, and she's doing a very beautiful job across the constituency itself. You've seen uh, him caring for the youth, giving in sports gear, like uh, uniforms, football, uh, football uh, equipment, and um, environment, which she did a, a very beautiful job while giving uh, out uh, wheelbarrows, racks, to make sure that uh, the community should uh, secure its um, environs, and to make sure that uh, uh, the environment around their place is uh, up to date. And in terms of uh, <coughs> administration, you'll find that uh, our AREMP is working closely with the youth of these constituents, whereby I'm the one who is in charge with the, of the youth, whereby they are doing a very good job. Unfortunately, uh, uh, we normally have a higher, a higher percentage of youths who are uh, drug addicts, where we are fighting it so hard. And I'm so glad that our AREMP has given a hand, a hand in it, whereby the CDF projects which are being undertaken in the constituents, we involve the youth, 100% youth involvement, to make sure that they should not be without jobs, at least. That's what I can say <laughs> to this. Uh, yeah, asante. For now, asante. Thank you. Yeah.